Hey, you beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, lately, I've been playing a fair bit of co-op, and uh, even in PvP, I've been noticing that a, there seem to be a lot of new players uh, coming into the game, and with the card system in the game being quite complex, maybe not for us that have been playing for quite a long time, but definitely for newer players, I thought we should just uh, go over what the different affinities are, what the different card types are, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Before I do, I just want to clear out this stuff because I just got a golden key. So let's open that up, get that out of the way, and then use our gold key on this chest and get absolutely ripped off. Because who doesn't like getting ripped off? We'll just stop it straight away because it's going to be crap anyway. Yeah, another banner. <laughs> uh, it's all good. It's a thousand uh, coins I didn't have to spend. So, to start off, we have your six affinities. We have Order, which is best known for uh, active cards. Um, if we take a look through, uh, we have some decent... Uh, Damage, health, and mana cards. Uh, regen cards. Damage, health, and uh, damage, mana, and health. Regen cards. We have a load of active cards and uh, unique passives and stuff like that. And we come into intellect, which is pretty well known for mana regen mostly, uh, and some very very good um, expensive. Uh, Actives and uh, passives like Hydroversa, Barrier of Will, uh, and Infinity Stream. We'll go back over some of these really, really soon. Then we have Corruption, which is best known for uh, some very good active cards um, and Ability Penetration, uh, Standard Penetration, some good crit cards in there as well. Lifesteal, definitely good for the Lifesteal. Then we have Fury, which is really good for your attack speed, your power. Uh, and crit chance and bonuses also some really good passives then we have growth which is best known for armor uh, and health regen uh, predominantly uh, obviously there's a few good actives in there as well and then we have your universal cards which are obviously just your universal cards so before we go over anything in specific if we bring up the filter we have all the different uh, symbols for what's in the game. So you have critical hit chance, so having four critical hit chance will mean you have a 4% out of 100% chance of hitting a critical strike. We have crit bonus, which uh, when applied will uh, multiply your crits by 250%. Uh, then we have attack speed, pretty standard, basic penetration, which means that uh, a certain amount of damage will penetrate through the enemy's basic armor. Ability pen will do the exact same thing for abilities. Power is obviously power. You have your two types of armor, your lifesteal, health regen, health, mana, and mana regen. And then we have the slot types. So we have your, uh, of all your normal cards, we have actives and passives, and then we have the upgrades which go on those cards and then your prime card uh, and the different rarities that come with all of those. So if we were to take a look first, um, there are a few things that I really want to go over that uh, people kind of do wrong that uh, I think we may need to go over. Um, so to start off with, let's just take a look at the uh, crit bonus cards. So as you can notice, there's quite a few crit bonus cards. There's a couple for lifesteal, one for order, one for fury, one for uh, corruption, a couple that uh, give you attack speed uh, with your crit bonus, uh, and uh, some basic pen, ability pen. I would go out of limb and say that the Agoran Scepter, Seeds of Flood, Heart of Apex, Wrath, uh, Wraith Whisper, and Death Nail should not be used at all. Um, Black Blood Virus, I probably wouldn't use either because for the most part I'd probably rather use one of their other lifesteal uh, cards and just go for a Blade of Agora, but 
just just for now these are actually quite useless um, no one uses them and I wouldn't recommend using them if you take a look at uh, the card itself we get this little box next to the card which tells you that when you pick up the card you get 2.5 life steal you then have a line below it with fully upgraded bonus everything that is below the line on any card that says fully upgraded bonus you will only get when it has three upgrades on it okay so all of these require a fully upgraded bonus now if we were to take that filter off there is actually something that we can take a quick look at uh, and expand upon the uh, fully upgraded and stuff like that so you have thermo bond here it is just a unique passive you notice between the health and ability armor and the unique passive there is no line so it is not a fully upgraded bonus so you get that the moment that you put the card on same with divine shield same with nanoplasm same with power cord all of these guys they're just standard unique passives uh, where is one that actually requires an upgrade so Aurora and Scepter obviously fully upgraded bonus there is a line there it actually needs to be fully upgraded to get it the next thing that you need to take note of here's another one that's a fully upgraded bonus but just like the crit bonus uh, in brackets it has a unique same with these two guys here unique so you cannot put two crit bonus cards on one deck that just will not work you will not get the extra 100% uh, crit on your crit bonus card okay because it's a unique so anything that has the same name next to unique like 100% crit bonus you cannot get twice so here we have two cards chronomancer disc and chrono spike okay one gives you mana and power it allows you to slot mana and power into it the other one gives you mana regen and power and allows you to slot mana regen and power into it they both have the same fully upgraded bonus 10% cooldown reduction, unique. 10% cooldown reduction, unique. You cannot put one of each of these cards on. You cannot put two on your deck. You will not get the fully upgraded bonus of the second one. You cannot put one of each on your deck. Well, you can put them on, but you're not going to get the fully upgraded bonus off the second one. Okay, so anything that you see um, that has unique passive uh, or unique active you cannot use twice you can put something like stasis gem on twice but the thing is with something like stasis gem is that once you use one the other one will go on cooldown um so here we have thick blood unique passive on hit with ability you can only have one on your build uh, unique passive there as well on ring of domina uh so you can only get that once and quenching scales so you can only use one quenching scales because it has a unique passive that you get when you pick up the card and it has a unique active when it's fully upgraded. You cannot uh, use this twice. Um, you can, you can put, you could have one on and someone else can have one on. Uh, if you put two on, you will not get the unique passive twice. And when you use the unique active, the other one will go on cooldown. Also, as it says there, if someone else has it on, uh, allies can only use or benefit from team heal once every 20 seconds so someone else can have it on but they can only benefit from it 20 seconds after the last time they benefit from it okay so we'll just have a little look through and see if we can find anything else that is uh so right there you've got another unique passive basic tax on jungle minions restore eight health so anything that is called a siphon whether it be a sage's siphon a major siphon uh or a where is the other one? Uh, where is the other one? There should be another one. No? I think they're actually in the... Oh, there's Lord Siphon. Okay, so they all give you plus 8 health. You can only have one of each of those. You could perhaps have a Scythe and a Siphon, because a Scythe gives you extra damage against jungle minions instead of giving you your health back. So these Scythes are used for... Um, for junglers at the very start of the game it makes you clear a little bit better uh, and so on and so forth okay uh, so I think we've covered the uh, unique passive well enough because that is probably the biggest mistake that I see people make is that they run 
uh, two or three of the same passives. There's always been people that run two crit bonuses. Don't do that, guys. If it says unique and you have another card that has the same unique passive, you will it will not stack, okay? So another thing that we should go through is uh, how you actually build a deck really quickly, okay? So if we take a look at something like uh the old twin chart my twin blast build okay um so for the most part uh we'll just have a quick look like this here up to here is my full build okay so we do whatever we want to do to get to uh max build which is 60 cp uh so these six cards will like add up to 60 cp and we can have a total of 40 cards in our deck, okay? Uh, that is including your prime card and your consumables as well. So what I tend to do is I have my full build and then I try to add in uh, three to four fully upgraded, really cheap cards. So I put in Mad Stone Gems and then a Flash Fire Piston. That gives you a lot of uh, early game damage and attack speed and makes your deck work quite nice. Um, one other thing, uh, actually, no, we'll finish with decks. I don't really think we need to go over anything else in decks. Um, so if we take a look at in here again, um, what if we go over some more of the stuff here? Um, as far as crit chance goes, obviously you can only get to 100% crit chance. Okay, uh, you are definitely better off to build, uh, say probably at least 16 to 20 CP with worth of power before you even think about crit chance. Uh, I would get to at least 32% crit chance before you put your crit bonus on. As far as attack speeds go, that is something I'm gonna have to talk about in another video because it's very, very complicated as to uh, how much attack speed you can put on a character. Basically, the way that it works is that every character has a cooldown for their basic attack. So take someone like Feng Mao, I think his basic attack is still 1.5 seconds uh, before he can attack again. The cap for attack speed is actually 0.4 seconds. So he can take quite a lot of uh, attack speed. If he was to gain none per level, he would put more on than uh, someone that has a 1.2 second attack. Uh, so that's pretty complicated. So for now, we'll just leave that. Basic Pen, as I said, allows you to penetrate armor, meaning that more of your damage is going through. Basic Pen, I would not recommend running if you're running Crit Chance, because it's kind of a bit of a waste. Um, ability Pen, if you're running a caster, you probably want to have at least 30 Pen on your build, no matter who you're using. Um, there are um, exceptions to that rule. If you're running Fey, I could probably... You know, you could probably get away with not running the ability pen, but running someone like Countess or Gideon or Howitzer, you probably want to get to 30 pen uh, on your build. Um, power, obviously, you're just going to put as much as you feel you need. Same with health. Uh, health regen is better served uh, for offlaners at the start of the game or for supports. Uh, especially good on someone like FaZe. Lifesteal uh, is pretty much a must-have on your crit builds. Uh, I would at least get 10% lifesteal on one of your crit builds using someone like Yin, probably go for 20. Uh, it's not that great on just basic power builds. It's not really going to help you out too much there. Uh, armor is for bruisers or tanks, so a fighter that is going to be, uh, that wants to get a little, sort of half tank, half damage, uh, would run a, uh, probably a 9 point card of each and a 9 or a 12 point health card. A tank would be using quite a lot. Um, minor regen is something that I don't f feel that uh, many casters take full advantage of. A lot of the times when I play a mid lane caster, I will... Uh, take say my uh, healer token health potion I will back get a ward and then I'll back with six points and get myself a mana regen card so say if we were running someone like uh, 
like Lieutenant Bellica, I might take a burst engine and uh, put three basic sparks on. Basic sparks are your uh, upgrade cards for Mana Regen or Chronos. They're uh, sparks or Chronos for Mana Regen, so don't skimp on the Mana Regen. It can be really, really handy. And uh, speaking of Mana Regen, a great card if you can use it is actually Infinity Stream for Mana Regen. Um, I kind of feel like I'm dribbling on a little bit. I feel like we've kind of covered the basics of what you need to know about cards. Um, the only th other thing that I will talk about is try not to waste, I just want to see if I can find one. Uh, so like this fully upgraded bonus which is a unique passive while critically wounded on hit with basic attack, apply a stack of burn to targets. You don't want that on a carry guys. Um, on a carry, pretty much all you want is uh, maybe a blink. Um, you want your crit bonus, your life steal, and your power and crit chance and some attack speed. You don't want anything like this. You don't need mana regen. Um, you know, you don't want anything like fire piercer. You know, if, if just think about it. If it doesn't sound like it really suits, uh, don't put it on. Don't try to count Iggy by putting stuff like this on. Uh, or Serith, because uh, probably not going to help you that much. It's going to be a hindrance because you're going to be wasting a card. Um, and that's, I feel like, all you really need to know to get started. So we've covered what the different uh, types of cards are. We've covered the uh, unique actives and passives. That is the big thing people get wrong. Crit, chant, uh, crit bonus and stuff like that. Uh, prime cards I don't really feel like we need to go over, but we will. Archmages, if you're running a cast on, definitely go for Archmages. If you are running a carry that is not at max attack speed, the Warlord is going to be really great for you. Uh, brawlers, um, say someone that's running a Bruiser build or a Tank build, you definitely want to go for health. Supports would probably go for health. Uh, apart from that, it is up to you. So we can get rid of them. Uh, and apart from that, the only thing we will talk about is the hardest thing for new players uh, is actually getting cards. So if we were to take, let's just go down to the universal cards, for example. This is actually the hardest thing to do. As you can see, of all the cards that I've destroyed for order, we have 24,000 Topaz, we have 23,600 Matrix, which is for Intellect, 35,000 for Corruption, 28,000 900 for uh, Fury, 37,000 for Growth, and only 17,500 of the Metal for Universal. So something like Quenching Scales, if you don't have it and you want to build it, it's actually going to cost you. Uh, you just do all you do to create a card is actually click on it while you're in the Cards tab in your profile, uh, and it will tell you here uh, what the cards are actually recommended for, who they're recommended for, so pretty much everyone. I'm not sure why that's bugged out at the moment and not showing. I think it's just because of the amount of text that's there. It will tell you that you need metal. This is how much metal you have, and this is how much you need. So it's very, very expensive. It also costs a thousand rep to create one. If we were, though, um, to have more than one, we could actually dismantle it. We can change the amount here if we had more, uh, and dismantle it and get 600 metal. Okay, so. A really good thing to do when you are low on cards, what I generally tend to do is I start from the very bottom, uh, normally I will go on and I'll say put an epic, um, so let's just say epic or rare at the moment, uh, and we'll, un we'll untab that because this is actually the way that I do it. I will start from the bottom. Okay, so we have a rare passive here, it's a unique passive, so you're only ever going to want one, you will only ever need one. If you have two, just go and delete one. Click on the card, go dismantle, and dismantle it. You'll get quite a bit of metal out of it. Uh, I don't think we will have anything because I go through my stuff when I'm bored in uh, cubes. So something like Stinger Boost, you can get rid of. Nanoplasm, if you've got extras, get rid of. Uh, Hemorrhage, even though it's not a unique active, you're not going to want more than one on a build. Ash the Witch, you wouldn't want more than one. Thunder Cleaver, same again. All of these cards here, you would not want more than one. Uh, healer token you could probably get keep a couple of uh, and all those cards there 
uh, some of the good ones though to get rid of um, that you will probably find you get a lot of are the crit bonus cards so you can only use one of each of these so right now I've actually got three sort of the altars there is no way that I need more than one not a hope in hell it's a unique we don't need any more so we're just gonna go and we're gonna delete two of them and we're gonna get some topaz out of it so that is the way that I go about getting my cards start from just to make it simpler so that it's uh, not doesn't seem as daunting of a task uh, if we back out here and we remove this if you see if I just go off of every card we're going through uh, 295 different cards and it's going to take an absolute lifetime so just start with epic come through just check for uh, anything that you have more than one of and then if you have nothing there just click over to rare back out go through see if you've got like cast converter here we won't need two of them we can delete one and so on and so forth uh, so hopefully that helps you get some of these cards uh, earlier make sure that you place um, make sure that you are keeping in mind that some of the most sought after things in the game that you will get rorted with in card packs that you really really want are minor strikes and minor casts uh, you can get away with just having three minor kinetics three minor guards um, three minor barriers as well but uh, minor casts if you think about it if you build a uh, three twelves, two nines, and a six into your build. So three 12 point cards, two nine point cards, and a six, which takes you up to uh, your 60 CP build. You you kind of want to build your nine point cards as a three two one, uh, three two one upgrades. So that's two sixes you're using there. If you're using a, uh, uh, let's just say for a carry deck, for example, if we go back to the same old carry deck, uh, look how many I actually use. Okay, so we actually have um, we have three one point upgrades there, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the majority of my deck is actually made up, or half of my deck at least is made up of one point upgrades, and we're actually better off for having all these minor strikes. So. Uh, Try to get as many of them as you can, uh, and uh, you'll eventually get a hang of it. It's not too hard. It can it can be a little bit daunting. We'll continue to go through these sorts of videos. I'll go back on to uh, deck building basics uh, over the coming weeks because I feel like we need to make sure that everyone is uh, up to scratch on how to uh, build decks before the uh, next big card update comes out because we're not sure how big that's going to be and it could be adding quite a lot of cards um, so at least if you know the basics of what cards are what what you can do with what then it's just those really niche uh, passives and actives that you kind of have to figure out for yourself um, so I think after this I'll, I'll get a few other videos out in between but I think after this we'll probably go on to uh, uh, standard building for uh, carries uh, and then move on to um, casters and then we'll move on to fighters and we'll split that up into uh, tanks and bruisers uh, and we'll go on from there. Uh, so if you found this in any way insightful please smash the like button, leave me a comment, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, put them down below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If not, uh, one of my lovely subscribers will probably get there first. Um, and uh, subscribe if you're not already, guys. Uh, with that said, thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.